Hello Year 9, this is Mr McLeod. Today's learning objective is to know how to calculate with decimals. Please write that in your books. Shown in front is the start, starting activity. Please pause the video for 10 minutes to allow yourselves to complete that, those six starter questions. Here are the answers to the starting activity. In green pen, Please mark your answers. So as I said, we'll be adding and subtracting decimals to start off with today. So for the first I do and we do, we have 0 0.875, add 0 0.020, add 0 0.004, and we have to add these together to get a final answer. So we're going to use the column method to do this. So in your column, write your three decimals, 0 0.875, 0 0.020, and 0 0.004. And we're going to add these together. Start in the, the far right column, and we've got 5, we've got 0, and we've got 4. 5 add 0 makes 5, add 4 makes 9. <coughs> 7 add 2 makes 9. Add 0, stays as 9. And then in the third column, we've got 8, add 0, add 0, which equals 8. The decimal point stays in the same position, and we've got 0, add 0, add 0, equals 0. So our final answer is 0 0.899. Please pause the video and allow a couple of minutes to try the we do in your books. Use the column method and use the example to help you through. So shown here is the answer to the we do. So well done if you got 0 0.399 on that one. Don't forget to use your column method. Okay, so for the next idea, we have 0 0.875, add 0 0.020, add 0 0.105. And this example, we have to use something a little bit different, and we'll talk about that now. So again, use your column method, write your three decimals in columns, and we're going to add these three together. So start in the far right column. 5 add 0, add 5. Now this makes 10. So we put a 0 here, and we carry a 1. Some of you may normally write the one up here, which is fine, but I'm just going to carry the one below for the minute, just for clarity. 7 add 2 makes 9, add 0 makes 9, but we still have to add this one on at the bottom. So 9 from these three, add this one makes 10. So again, we're going to have another 0 and we're going to carry another 1. 8 add 0 add 1 makes 9 once again and we still have to add this one at the bottom so that makes another 10 so we put a 0 here and then we effectively carry a 1 to this column 0 add 0 add 0 makes 0 but we have to add the 1 from the 10 before so we have a 1 in this column and three zeros our answer is 1 use this example to help you with the we do Pause the video now and allow a couple of minutes to try that we do. Okay, so here is your answer to the we do, and again, it's exactly one. Write your three col your three decimals in a column and add them together. Now seven add zero add three makes ten. So we put the zero here and we carry a one and we continue through and you should have got one as an answer. Give yourself a tick in green pen if you got that right. Well done. Okay, so for the next I do and we do, we have a bit of a different question here because we've got 0 0.875, add 0 0.1, add 0 0.12. Now remember, importantly, with this 0 0.1 and this 0 0.12, place value is very important. Because this one is in the tenths column, so this one belongs in this column here. 
And remember that this one is in the tenth column as well, and this col what two is in the hundredth column. So if we write those all in the column, it's 0 0.875, 0 0.100, that's 0 0.1, remember the 1 is in the tenths column, and 0 0.120, remembering that the 1 is in the tenths column, the 2 is in the hundredths column. And start on the right, 5 add 0 add 0 makes 5, 7 add 0 add 2 makes 9, and 8 add 1 add 1 makes 10. So we put the 0 in this column and we have to carry a 1. 0 add 0 add 0 makes 0, but we still have to carry this 1. So we have a total of 1 in this column. So the answer is 1.095. Pause the video and try the we do in your books. Use the I do to help you through. Okay, so for the we do, you should have got an answer of 1.087. Remember that 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.400 because the 4 belongs in the tenths column. And 0 0.33 is equal to 0 0.330 because the first 3 belongs in the tenths and the second 3 belongs in the hundredths column. Well done if you got 1.087. Give yourself a tick and green pen if you got that right. Please correct your errors if you made any mistakes. In green pen. So, here are your first nine questions. Work through these. I'm going to give you 15 minutes. So, pause the video. Take 15 minutes to work through these. As you get to question H and I, you're going to be adding five different decimals. I'll be impressed to see if anyone can get onto these questions and get them right. After you finish, be ready to mark in green pen. So here are the nine answers to the questions you've just, just done. Did anyone get onto H and I and get those right? Well done if you did. Please mark your answers in green pen. Okay, so now we're moving on to something different, which is subtracting decimals this time. And we're going to take a relatively similar approach. For the first I do, it's 0 0.879, take away 0 0.678. So again, we're going to use our column. 0 0.879, write 0 0.678 below it, remembering to keep it in place value order. And we're going to subtract these. So starting from the right, 9 take away 8 gives 1, 7 take away 7 gives 0, and 8 take away 6 gives 2. 0 take away 0 equals 0, so our answer is 0 0.201. Please pause the video and use the I do to help you with the we do. Complete the we do in your books, please. We'll check the answer afterwards. Okay, so for the we do, 0 0.657 take away 0 0.146. Again, we write in a column, paying attention to the place value of each number. And we subtract, starting from the right. 7 take away 6 equals 1, 5 take away 4 equals 1, 6 take away 1 equals 5, keep the decimal point, and 0 take away 0 equals 0. So well done if you got an answer of 0 0.511, really well done. Please make sure to mark in green pen. Okay, so now we have our second I do and we do. Well, the first I do is 0 0.879, take away 0 0.78. Now remember, this 7 belongs in the tenths column, this 8 belongs in the hundredths column. So make sure to line them up correctly when you write them. 0 0.78 is effectively 0 0.780, the 7 in the tenths, 8 in the hundredths column. So again, we use our column, we write them above in a column, 
and we're going to subtract. 9 take away 0 equals 9. Now this is the part to be careful of because here we've got a 7 and we're taking away an 8. 7 take away 8 would put us into the negative numbers. We don't want that. So we're going to borrow a 1 from the 8. So we change this 8 to a 7 and we borrow 1. So we now have 17 here. 17 take away 8 equals 9. 7 take away 7 equals 0. Keep the decimal point and 0 take away 0 equals 0. So our answer is 0 0.099. Pay attention to the place value when you're writing it in the column. Remember that if you have a bigger number on the row below, you're going to have to borrow one above. So take away from the 8, turn it into a 7, borrow a 1, make this 17. That's the key. Please use this example to help you through the weeder. Pay attention to the place value, remember that. We'll mark in green pen in a moment. So here's the answer for the weeder. 0 0.197 so again we write in a column 0 0.657 at the top now 0 0.46 remember the fours in the tenths the six in the hundredths so it's 0 0.460 and we take these two away seven take away zero gives seven five take away six well that'll put us into the negatives we don't want that so we borrow a 1 from this 6, turn it into 5, borrow a 1. So we've got 15 here now. 15 take away 6 equals 9. 5 take away 4 equals 1. Keep the decimal point and 0 take away 0 equals 0. Did anyone get that right? Well done if you did. Give yourself a tick and green pen. Or if you made a mistake, that's okay. Just put it right and try to learn for next time. Okay, in the last example, I wanted to focus on this one because we have 0 0.8 take away 0 0.78. Now, some of you may look at this and think 0 0.78 looks bigger. But remember, this 8 is in the temps column. This 7 is in the temps column. So we can effectively write this 0 0.8 as 0 0.800, however many zeros we need. Write them in a column. So we've got 0 0.80. Take away 0 0.78. Start on the left. On the right, sorry. That was my mistake. Start on the right. 0 take away 8 would put us in the negatives. We don't want that. So we borrow a 1 from this 8. 8 turns into 7. And we borrow 1 to turn this 0 into 10. 10 take away 8 gives 2. 7 take away 7 equals 0, keep the decimal point, and 0 take away 0 equals 0. So your answer is 0 0.02. Well done if you followed along with that. Please pause the video, try the we do, use the I do to help you through. Pay attention to the place value. Okay, so for the next we do, we have 0 0.6, take away 0 0.46. And again, like the first one, you might look at this and think 0 0.46 looks bigger. But it's not, because this 6, six is in the tenths column. So this is effectively 0 0.60. So write it in a column, 0 0.60, take away 0 0.46. 0 take away 6 would put us into the negatives. We don't want that. So we borrow a 1. Turn this into a 5. Borrow a 1. 10 take away 6 equals 4. Now this is 5 now. So 5 take away 4 gives me 1. Keep the decimal point And 0 take away 0 equals 0. So well done if you got 0 0.14. Here are nine questions of the type we've just done. Please pause the video and allow 15 minutes or more if it needed to work through these nine and we'll review the answers afterwards. Please pause the video now. 
Okay, so here are your nine answers. Please mark in green pen. I want to know if anyone got nine out of nine. Well done if you did. Please be ready to move on to the next example. Okay, so moving on to multiplying decimals now. So we have for the first I do 0 0.12 times 1.1. 1 .1. Now yesterday we used our calculating skills to use one calculation to work out another. And that's what we're going to do with these decimals. So 0 0.12 times 1.1. 1 .1. Let's make that into an easier calculation. Please ignore this I do for the minute. This is an incorrect solution. What I'm going to do is 0 0.12 times not 1.1 1 .1, but 11 instead. So 12. Imagine this is 12. We're going to do 12 times 11. Which is going to give me a solution of 132. So imagine this is 12. This is 11. 12 times 11 gives me 132. Now this number, 0 0.12, that is 100 times smaller than 12. 1.1, 1 .1. this is 10 times smaller than 11. So our answer to 12 times 11 was 132. But our answer is going to be 100 times 10 times smaller. So 1,000 times smaller than 132. So if we do 132 divided by 1,000, we'll get 0 0.132. I'm sorry for the error on this I do. Please ignore this. The answer to this is 0 0.132. Do 12 times 11 and then divide by a thousand. Please pause the video and move on to the we do. You're going to try the we do by doing 12 times 9 and then using your skills from yesterday's lesson to work that out. Okay so for the next I do we've got 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.3. Now I'm going to make this simpler. I'm going to make it 4 times 1 times 3 because I can calculate that easily. So 4 times 1 times 3 gives me 12. Remember that 0 0.4 is 10 times smaller than 4. 0 0.1 is 10 times smaller than 1. And 0 0.3 is 10 times smaller than 3. So my answer to this 4 times 1 times 3 is 12. But my answer to this decimal question is going to be 10 times 10 times 10 times smaller, which is 1,000, 1,000 times smaller. So divide 12 by 1,000 or move the decimal point to the left twice and we get 0 0.012. Please pause the video and try the we do for yourselves in your book. You're going to do 4 times 3 times 3 and then work backwards to work out what the decimal question equals. Okay, so here are 12 questions for you to try. Pause the video for 15 to 20 minutes, or as long as needed, to work through these 12 questions. Then be ready to mark in green pen afterwards. Okay, so green pen's out and ready to mark. Here are the 12 answers. I want to know if anyone got 12 out of 12. Well done if you did. Please mark in green pen now. Okay, so so far we've done addition, we've done subtraction, we've done multiplying, but we need to do division. So we're going to do a bit of short division now with no remainders. So remember your bus stop method. 95 divided by 5. So because 95 is being divided, we put that under the bus stop and we put a 5 to the left. We look how many 5s go into 9, that's 1, remainder 4, so we carry the 4. 
So here we have 45, and we look how many times 5 goes into 45. That's 9. So our answer to this, 95 divided by 5 equals 19. Please try the we do yourselves. Pause the video and do 75 divided by 5 in your books. Okay, so 75 divided by 5. Put the 75 under the bus stop. The 5 to the left. How many 5's into 7? That's 1. Remainder 2. So we carry the 2 and place it there. Now we've got 25 here. So how many 5's into 25? That's 5. So we have 1 and 5. 15 is our answer. Well done if you got that right. Okay, so 945 divided by 5. Remember, we are dividing 945. So place that under the bus stop. Write the 5 to the left. 5 into 9 goes once. Remainder 4. So here we have a we carry the 4. We have 44 here. 5 into 44 goes 8 times. Remainder 4 again. Now we have 45 here. 5 into 45 goes 9 times. So the answer to this, 945 divided by 5 is 189. Please pause the video and try the we do for yourselves. 765 divided by 5. We'll go through the answer in a minute. Okay, so for an answer, you should have got 153. 5 into 7 goes once, remainder 2. 5 into 26 goes 5 times, remainder 1. And 5 into 15 goes 3 times with no remainder. So our answer is 153. Give yourself a tick and green pen if you got that right. Well done. Okay, so for the last nine questions of the lesson, please complete these nine in your box and be ready to mark in green pen afterwards. Pause the video for as long as necessary to complete these questions. Okay, so here are the nine answers to the questions we just did. And this is en the end of today's lesson. Thank you for listening Year 9 and I'll see you again next time.